Hello, everybody. I'm back with another episode of Market Moves and Old Frame MTG. It is October 10th, 2023. Today, I want to talk about some cards from the dark. For many years, there wasn't much action in the dark. For many years, I had the opportunity to pick up some of the most interesting and unique cards from the dark, but I didn't. And then the post-COVID market mania hit. We had things like this happen. City of Shadows, a card that people didn't pay much attention to at all for many, many years, all of a sudden went from 20 bucks to almost 200, a 10x spike in the course of about a year and a half. Ridiculous. But now a lot of these cards that spiked in price are coming back down. Will they go even lower? I don't know. Nobody really does. My goal is not to nail the bottom. I just want to pick up some play sets of some of my favorite old cards. I want to find a price that seems fair to me, and then I'm going to buy. If prices go even lower, I'll just dollar cost average into my play sets and then call it a day. So let's look at some of the cards from the dark that I would like to pick up, starting with this one right here, City of Shadows. So City of Shadows is a, a U1 from the dark. It's a land. You could tap it and sacrifice one of your creatures but remove it from the game instead of placing it in your graveyard. You put a counter on City of Shadows when you do this. You could also tap it to add X colorless mana to your mana pool, where X is the number of counters on City of Shadows. So generating lots of mana is always strong, but this card is rather slow, and you need to combo it to really get the most out of it. You compare it with token generators, or, or better yet, spells that allow you to steal your opponent's creatures sack them to the city of shadows i'm gonna hold off on this mostly because it might never end up in a deck for me i think the card is neat but it's not one of the most highly playable cards in my opinion i still think it's got some some room to move down if you look at tcg player what could you pick this up for right now if you wanted to in let's say light play condition if we look at the year chart it's down you know, 50 percent in just the course of a year. So this has really collapsed. If you wanted to pick up a, a light play copy, there's there's quite a few uh, available in this forty dollar range. Next card I want to look at is Preacher. Preacher is one that I'm starting to go after. I've always really liked this card. Uh, it it steals uh, 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 creatures from your opponent, which is something that I really like to do. I also really love pretty much any card with Quentin Hoover art. This is a classic for your white weenie deck. You can use it to handle bigger creatures if they just got some big guy out that you can't deal with with your white deck. You can snag that from them. If they don't want to hand that over and they got smaller creatures, you can steal those, use them as chump blockers. You could also steal your opponent's creatures and feed them some kind of sacrifice outlet like Ashnod's Altar or maybe City of Shadows, which we just looked at. So Preacher, it's one colorless, two white, one, one. You can tap it to gain control of one of opponent's creatures. Opponent chooses which target creature you control. If Preacher becomes untapped, you lose control of this creature. You may choose not to untap Preacher as normal during your untap phase. You also lose control of the creature if Preacher leaves play or at end of game. So this one got up over $100. It's on its way down. If you wanted to pick one up on TCG Player. There's plenty of light play copies available in the $30 range. Do be careful, though, when you pick up some of these old cards. Some people have different ideas, very unusual ideas, of what a light play card from the mid-90s might look like. Some people might try to sell you something like this as light play. That's insane. They do put the photos here, so you can make your own decision, buyer beware, but I question the sanity of this particular poster. However, if you don't want to pick that one up, there still are quite a few others posted here in the $30 range. Next card on my list that I've got my eye on from the dark is Goblin Wizard. Goblin Wizard is an uncommon one. For two colorless and two red, 
you get a 1-1 one, one goblin. You can tap goblin wizard, take a goblin from your hand, put it directly into play. Treat this goblin as if it were just summoned. You can also pay one red. Target goblin gains protection from white until end of turn. This one isn't quite as appealing to me as the preacher. I'm not going to get as much use out of it, but uh, I would put this in a commander deck. So this would be one of my 100 in a, a goblin commander deck if I ever do decide to build one, especially an old frame one. I'd pick up a copy for that reason, but I don't have an immediate use for this. It has been in a persistent downtrend since mid-2021. Not such a bad time to pick it up. If you're interested, what can you get this for right now? If you wanted a light play copy on TCG Player. So the past year, again, we have another 50% drop. Uh, you can pick these up right now for about $40. Not terrible. If you're interested, I'd say, you know, not the worst time to get one. The next card I want to look at <clears throat> is a highly playable card from the dark. It's an old school staple. I don't think it's yet a commander staple. I'm not really sure. If not, it should be. I do want a play set of this original printing. So Maze of Ith is a C1 from the dark. It's a land, tap it, target attacking creature becomes untapped. This creature neither deals nor receives damage as a result of combat. It's spent an awful long time going all the way back to 2013 in this 25 to $50 range. Personally, it's a, it's at a price that I'm willing to pay right now for an original in the 20 to $25 range. Might go lower, might not. Let's take a look at TCG player. Light play copies. Oh man, there's plenty available right now for the 10 to $15 range. So yeah, I mean, this is not a reserve list card. It's a card that gets reprinted quite often, but I love the originals and I have no problem paying 10 to $15 for original Maze of Ith in pretty good condition. So this is one that I will be picking up another copy of soon. Next on my list of cards from the dark that I have my eye on. We have Exorcist. This is a card that people didn't really pay much attention to. I mean, it got some play here and there in old school white dot decks, especially a good sideboard card, but it was never that expensive. Had a massive spike in 21, 2021 from four to forty dollars 10x it's been collapsing it's well off its highs it's available for the prices you could have picked it up for in 2018 the exorcist is an uncommon one from the dark two white one one summon exorcist pay one colorless and one white tap target black creature is destroyed i would like to get at least one copy of this for play in an old school edh deck Maybe as a sideboard card and a white weenie deck that I'd like to build sometime in the not too distant future. If we take a look at TCG player, this has dropped by more than 50% over just the course of the last year. And you can get quite a few light play copies for under $10 or in the $10 range. So I don't think this is such a terrible pickup at the moment. Finally, I want to look at one other card that I'm interested in picking up from the dark. This card is Martyr's Cry. This is a card that Rudy from Alpha Investments recently purchased thousands of copies of. Who knows how many copies? He made a video about it. He pumped it. Price has risen since he made that video, but it is still well off of its highs. Like many cards from the dark, especially the reserve list cards from the dark, it had quite a spike in mid-2021. From, you know, 4 or $5 to $25. This is a unique card. It's an uncommon one from the dark. It's a sorcery. 
pay two white. All white creatures are removed from the game. Players must draw one card for each white creature they control that is lost in this manner. So white isn't known for card draw. This gives you some amount of card draw in white if you happen to be playing a deck full of white creatures. It doesn't come without a downside. You have to sacrifice your creatures. But if you're between a rock and a hard place, there are worse things you can do than sack all your creatures to Martyr's Cry and draw into a balance. It's a long shot, but that would be pretty sick if you could pull that off. I don't know exactly what people do with this card, but it's one of those unusual cards that I would really like to try to make work in a deck. Current market price of 1182 on MTG stocks. If we go to TCG Player, have a look at the current prices for light play copies. We see lots of light play copies out there for eight to ten dollars. So pick some up if you're into it. I'm going to get a copy or two uh, in the not too distant future and see what happens. If it goes lower, I may pick up two more. So those are the cards from the dark that I have my eyes on at the moment. Let me know if there's anything out there from the dark that you're currently collecting. And I'll see you on the next episode of Market Moves and Old Frame MTG.